Hey guys, just before we start this week's video, I wanted to speak on a topic that is obviously very pivotal at the moment for all of us. I didn't really know how to help, but I think using my platform would be the best approach. So in case anybody out there has any doubts, Black Lives Matter. And I understand that I will never understand, but I stand with you. Hey everybody and welcome back to The Average. Today we are going to be doing a little collaboration with my good friend Louisa at Colour Hulk Creations. Go check her out down in the description. She does loads of really fun videos with mostly Harry Potter themes. So today we're going to do a Harry Potter themed video with her and what we're going to do is each other's um, Harry Potter Sona. I don't know how you would call it but I'm going to draw her out and then draw what she might have in her bag and, and all these different things. So I did have the idea to draw like a gang of YouTube people, like that's Casey, that's Dina and this is Mira. So I was thinking like I was going to draw all of that but then in the end I thought that's a lot of stuff to do. Um, so I'm just going to draw Lu Lu Luisa and um, yeah, I've got a new Mossery sketchbook which is looking very nice. So I want to start that out because I have finished this sketchbook. Um, I drew this at the front page because that's all I, what I had left. So basically, yeah, I'm going to do a sketchbook tour soon, I guess. Also, if you guys don't know, I have started a Patreon and it's open as of today. And we're picking a book for our book club reward tier. So get over there if you want to help pick a book and we'll all read it together. And then we'll create art on it and it's going to be super fun. I'm really excited to do that. Anyway. That's going to be happening soon. I will probably film a sketchbook tour and post it for early access on my Patreon. So make sure you go check that down in the link in the description. Okay, so here is my Mossery sketchbook. I haven't used this yet. It looks very nice. It has a design by a really cool artist that everybody probably knows of. That is Hey Color, and she has this little thing that came with it of her process, which is kind of cool. Anyway, I bought this with my own money, but I just always wanted to try these out and I've always been put off because I don't like ring bound sketchbooks, but I'm going to try this one out anyway because it came with like a really nice watercolour paper and yeah, I think it'll be fun to try out a different style and also it does lay flat, which is kind of cool, so we're going to try that out and I'm going to draw Louisa and we will see how that goes. So I did do an initial sketch, so I want to just re... I just want to kind of go through it with pen with this one because basically I'm trying to get more confident lines. So if you just draw with pen, it's really helpful to get those confident lines. And this is the first sketchy book uh, page. So the nerves are up, but we're gonna go for it. Yeah, so Luisa has a really nice channel. Um, she posts um, kind of sporadically, but she has a really cool channel and it's really nice when she has stuff it's like chatty style so if you kind of like that style it's very nice to just listen to and draw along with she works for a um pet is it a pet company a pet it's not a pet shop it's like a pet company <laughs> she's gonna be like what are you saying and uh yeah i so i want to draw like a few animals that she would kind of have with her hogwarts sona i i really feel like i'm getting that wrong it's not hogwarts sona it's just like you as a character if you were in harry potter i guess which is a hogwarts sona thanks stuff and also i kind of wanted to stray away from doing exactly what it is in the in the books where or as in like the style of the outfits. I wanted to stray away from doing what it is in the films, like what they've perceived the descriptions of the uniforms and stuff in the film. So I wanted to kind of do my own style and I hope that it's recognizable. Again, with the pen, it's a little bit of a, an adventure of trying to draw the right lines and correct things everywhere. But I think I need to get better at my um, my line confidence. So this is gonna be helpful for that. And then uh, what I'll do to color it in is I will use my um, my new watercolor, watercolor? My new alcohol markers that I got from Artex that they sent me, this big batch of them. Cause I've been getting into using them again um, within my old sketchbook and I really enjoyed using them. So it's nice to 
get used to that again. I realised that how much I like alcohol markers. I've been doing a lot of um, experimenting with style recently and I hope that it's gonna work out in the better for me because I'm really enjoying what I'm doing so far and I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So I wanna do like a different kind of kind of uniform here. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of going for it and hoping for the best. So Luvisa has a pet rat, I believe. So I wanted to draw him in this image because I thought that makes perfect sense for a Harry Potter style drawing. So I have a little drawing of him previously done in my other sketchbook. So I'm just going to try and copy that as best I can. If I make any mistakes, I think I might just, you know, go over with the Molotov pen or something like that. But yeah, um, let's draw her hand here. Okay, I don't know how she's holding this wrap, but... <laughs> there we go, we could... There's the first mistake that I've made. Oh well, we're learning. We're doing. And then her other hand can be like here, so it makes sense now. Little rat buddy. He's super cute. I mean, I am, I am saying like I'm drawing with pen and that's helping my line confidence, but I also, I have done preliminary sketches, so I'm looking at that a lot, so that helps out a bit. It's not like I'm just going in without knowing anything. I've definitely made this drawing way too big as well, because in my other sketchbook, it is a full body one, but it looks like we're gonna just be able to fit just a torso in it which is fine. Okay, I want to do something cool with the robes, like a little bit different to how they are in the books or necessarily on, on the, in the movie, I mean. Okay, so there's my super quick doodle of uh, Luisa and her Hogwarts Sona. I'm going to quickly colour this in and then we'll talk about um, stuff that she's got in her bag and things like that. So, first of all, I would believe that she would be Hufflepuff. So I'm going to kind of draw this style of Hufflepuff cape style, what am I saying, of colours. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to make it different to the normal, what we see all the time. So I'm just going to use orange and yellowy colours, which is the house colours. I think this is actually quite too bright of an orange. Let's see. That looks exactly the same colour, but it's a little bit lighter. I think I need like a more of a yellow, right? for Hufflepuff. I like now to do this thing where I do like the swatches above the page because I think it looks quite nice in a sketchbook as well. Do, do, do. Luvisa, you need to tell me if actually I've got this wrong and you aren't Huff, um, Hufflepuff, but I think you are and I think I am, so we'll see what you put me as. <laughs> She's doing the same thing on her page, so if you want to go check it out, what she's made me into, she's made me into, or if she, if she, I can't speak, if you want to see what she's done with my, if you want to see what she's done with my uh, Hogwarts Sona, then go check that out, because I'm interested to see it too. I know that she's put pesto in there, so that will be really fun to see. Also, I know that she recently coloured her hair pink, which is going to be really fun to, like, have a go with. I think I'm going to make the hat yellow. Yeah? What about it, guys? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> All the Harry Potter fans are like, what? It doesn't make any sense. Well, that's the thing. It's my little Hogwarts universe, so I can do whatever I want. I'm liking the sketchbook so far as well, by the way, guys. It's pretty nice. I like the paper. It's handling the uh, alcohol markers very well. Let's see. Okay, there was some bleed through, but hmm, that tends to happen with alcohol markers quite easily. But yeah, a little disappointed that that's not a little bit thicker because it is watercolor paper. So you'd think that it would be able to hold some ink. It's okay though, I missed her other sock. I think I want to make like the robe actually, like not black, but a dark blue as well. Having fun with, with it basically, rather than sticking to the strict style of Hogwarts style. So, oh, or maybe a purple, because purple goes with, oh, decisions. Purple goes with, um, yellow. I mean, this is a lilac, it's kind of a light purple. So I was thinking the outside could be light and then inside of the cape of the robe could be dark and then with like stars and things like that. Do you guys remember in the old Harry Potter book when they had like a totally different Dumbledore on the cover? 
and then now it's like worth loads and loads of money that print because it was like the first run of prints and Dumbledore looked totally different like his outfit and uniform the illustrator had made it really wacky I think I had a copy of that book but then I swapped it with um, a friend of mine who then moved to America when we were like kids so it didn't matter and now I'm like damn it <laughs> should have kept on doing it if I can find an image of that I'll pop it up here but um, maybe you guys know what I'm talking about I do enjoy using this Lila Key Purple as a shade colour. Kind of works quite nicely sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna make her hair pink because that is what she's recently dyed it to. Find a nice pink that will work with our colour scheme here. Kind of wish I was able to fit her whole body in here, but that's all right. You can't resist a pink nose, guys. All pink hands. I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, pink knees. These are our colours. What is a nice blue that could go with that? Probably, maybe? Yeah, okay. I'm liking that. So on the inside of all the Hogwarts robes in my imagination, that bled really badly. Um, they would have like stars and stuff like that. So I'm going to go over with like a white monoto pen here and do like star shapes and stuff. I think it'll look cute. Mm. And then I think, yeah, let's go for the yellow socks. Let's round it off. <laughs> some more yellow. Hey, kind of a more witchy vibe there. Um, I'm going to do some stars and stuff inside the cape. Cool. Kind of a weird, weird outfit, but she's a wizard. Harry. Um, I want to do like a little bit of a background haze around her as well. Now I'm going to draw what would be in her bag. So obviously she would have her wand, which I'm going to make a little bit fancy. A little bit of a curl at the end. And then maybe make a cool little design on the end of a yellow stone or something. I know this isn't very, um, I don't know, on point for Harry Potter, like it's not very in the brand, if that makes sense. It's it's kind of my interpretation, so I like it. And I'm going to make the wand pink to match her hair. Yellow, like a yellow stone on the end. Okay, let's draw the pages of these books she would be carrying around, because I think she would be quite a studious uh, student. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Or she would read a lot anyway. I'm not sure if you're very ap academic or not, but I know that you read a lot, so I think that would be a lot of books, even if maybe they were just for fun, being carried around in your bag. So maybe like a potions book. I don't know what else would be under here, but you can't really see. You can't really see it, so I'm just gonna do colors. She would definitely have some little treats for her rat that she's carrying around. I don't know what these would be, like little delicious uh, <laughs> wizard rat treats, I don't know. Kind of looks more like an elephant, but that's fine. Maybe some like uh, potions bottles for later to put stuff into so empty bottles basically I don't know why but in my world uh, she would be a potions master <laughs> so maybe taking like take like an A-level or something an A-level an owl in potions or something, I don't know. So she would have lots of empty jars just in case she wanted to pick up something or fill them up with something. I like that idea. Oh yeah, so I'm sticking to it. Nice, cute. So if you notice that I am sticking to this kind of color scheme, which I think is a good idea. So then it doesn't get too crazy. I think it kind of looks cute when I do like random colours and stuff. I think it looks cute, so I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah. What else would she have? Maybe like some kind of charm or something, I don't know what it would be for. It's not a time turner, but it's some sort of charm. 
and it kind of matches her wand as well. Oh, I think she would definitely have some like sherbet lemons as well, which is a really nice sweet and it's a constant sweet that shows up in um, <laughs> in uh, Harry Potter because Dumbledore eats them a lot and I think that she would like them. I like them. They are quite delicious. So let's do like them coming out the bag. Kind of doing like the made up uh, language as well, which I think would be kind of cool. Like a witchy style of language that they had for their own. Which reminds me, she might have a purse of money. So I'm gonna draw a little purse as well. Something like a drawstring purse. Because I think that makes sense within the kind of realm of wizardry. And lots of money inside because this is our magical land. <laughs> we can do whatever we want. I think it would be pink. Okay, I think I'm going to stop there because I really like the way that this turned out. It's just a fun little design. The first page of a sketchbook, a new sketchbook done, and I do really like this. Um, I am a little bit put off with the wire, but maybe I'll get used to it. That's something that I don't usually like in sketchbooks, but I thought I'd try it out, so yeah, I'm not bothered by it too much. Anyway, this is Louisa's character as a Harry Potter Hogwarts goer. She is Hufflepuff with her new design robes that I've made. She's carrying her potion books and history books and fun books, rat treats, her magical wand, a little contraption that I haven't decided what that is, empty potion bottles, sherbet lemons, and a cold, a cold? A gold coin purse. And I used these Artex markers for them, which are very nice and quite reasonably affordable actually. So I do actually really like these pens. I used the Del Delita white liner to do like white lines and just a kind of random probably 100 yellow store pen for drawing it out. I hope you guys like this and yeah that's kind of my first impressions of the um, Mossery sketchbook which is very nice. I like it so far and yeah um, it, there was a bit of bleed through but overall quite good. It at least didn't go into that page. And so yeah, go check out what Luisa has done for me on her channel. Let's see, I'm excited to see that and I'm really looking forward to it. Also, I have got my Patreon open, so please bear that in mind if you fancy some rewards. I've got some original stuff going on. For instance, you can get this, which is an original painting of a Ghibli scene that I did and that is one of the tier rewards, but there's also YouTube shout outs, book club tier and just general um, update tier. So, Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!